A $25 billion settlement was reached last week between five large mortgage servicers in 49 states. And while this was momentous, it may not help many borrowers in trouble. Only about 1 million of the estimated 11 million underwater homeowners will see relief as loans sold to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are not included in the deal. Much of the settlement money will go towards mortgage modification. Roughly 750,000 homeowners are slated to receive financial compensation from the Incord, an average of only about $2,000 per household. The lenders involved are J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Ally Financial, Citigroup, and Wells Fargo. Other banks could join them, however. I mentioned 49 states. The 50th state, Oklahoma, forged its own agreement with those five lenders. The University of Michigan's initial February consumer sentiment survey fell to about 72.5 from its one-year peak of 75 at the end of January. Economists polled by Bloomberg News had expected a 74.8 reading. However, the percentage of consumers who felt the jobless rate would fall in future months was at the highest level the survey had seen in 28 years. Gold futures pulled back $14.60 last week, settling at $17.23 on the COMEX Friday. That left gold up over 10% year-to-date. Oil is still hovering around $100. NYMEX crude finished Friday at 98.67, advancing almost a percent for the week. When the Dow's worst day of 2012 brings only an 89-point loss, it seems the year is off to a pretty good start. That loss occurred Friday after another stall in the Greek debt negotiations. On the week, the major U.S. indices pulled back just a bit, with the Dow down about a half percent to 12.801. The S&P 500 down about 0.2% to 1342, and the NASDAQ took about a half point loss to 2903. Today, Monday, and actually this morning, President Obama submitted his 2013 fiscal budget proposal to Congress. Tomorrow, the Census Bureau publishes January retail sales figures and MetLife issues fourth quarter earnings. Then on Wednesday, the Fed issues the January 25th FOMC minutes, the federal government comes out with figures on January industrial output and fourth quarter results arrive from Comcast, Deere, CBS, Abercrombie and & Fitch, and NVIDIA. On Thursday, GM, Nordstrom, and Baidu come out with earnings and new initial jobless claims are announced. January's PPI also released plus data on January's housing starts and Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke speaks at the FDIC hearing. Then on Friday, January CPI comes out along with the conference board's newest leading economic indicator index. Fourth quarter results also come in from Heinz and Campbell Soup. That's what we see going on this week. I'm Greg Petrie. And my name is Eric Hagan. We'll keep our finger on the pulse of the economy and report back to you next Monday. So please be sure to subscribe and we'll talk with you then.